What about global warming? Are you, you, are you on the page that there is such a thing as global warming? Yeah, I think it's been around for a long time, and it's probably going to be here with us for a while longer. I, I don't think the, uh, the, the ozone has settled on that yet. I don't think everybody knows everything about uh, global warming, because you have reputable scientists on both sides of that argument. No, you don't! Well, no, on the other side, you only have Professor Irwin Corey and the Shell Answer Man. <laughs> I mean, my, the reason I'm bringing this up is to say, even as someone who I consider myself somewhat of a libertarian, I think there are some jobs that are so enormous that only the government can do it. And I would put, at this point in our very tenuous history, global warming in that list. Don't you think the government has to do something about global warming? Well, then, then you have to deal with the volcanoes and you have to deal with the pollution of China. So do you want to invade China to make sure they don't pollute? Uh, and what are you going to do about the volcanoes? They are all uh, contributing factors to global warming. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't do what we can to uh, slow up the emissions and, uh, and stop subsidizing big oil companies. I, I don't like subsidizing oil companies. Uh, they've been doing that for years. We go to war to protect oil so that we can buy more oil and burn more oil. So I would say our foreign policy contributes to global warming by subsidizing a policy that is deeply flawed, and that's why we're in the Middle East, to protect oil interests. So uh, yes, that would be one of the first things you could do if you're serious. But still against the Civil War. Okay. Uh, what about the FAA? I mean, that does prevent planes from crashing into each other. Uh, it is government meddling in a, in a, in a sort of an absolute sense, but don't you think we would need something like the FAA? Sure, sure, you could. You could have a private F FAA. And, uh, a private of course, FAA? Of course, you didn't do a very good job with your FAA in preventing four aircrafts going down in, in the wrong places, where if it had been private and you had not depended on the government for protection, you might not have had a rule that said you can't have a gun on an airplane and that uh, you can't resist. So but certainly, because we were dependent on the federal government to protect us and the FAA, uh, we weren't really protected. So I would say there's uh, lots of room for an alternative uh, to a government monopolized FAA, and then we'd be just as safe. But haven't but, we learned from Walter Reed and so many other scandals that actually private enterprise does worse? Corporations are actually worse than the government because they have absolutely no conscience? Well, does, what makes you think the, F, uh, the, uh, the Veterans Association is private? I mean, this is a demonstration of what uh, government-run medicine will be like. If you, if you uh, like government medicine, go to the veterans' hospitals and you'll find out what it's like. I mean, as a physician and as one that had been trained in veterans' hospital, most physicians and young doctors always knew what the quality of medical care was in many of our veterans' hospitals. Uh, we, we need to uh, allow every veteran to have of decent health care, but we should permit him and pay for it to allow him to go to the doctor that he wants to go to and not make him stand in lines to second, get second class care in, uh, in some of our uh, VA hospitals. Okay, I appreciate that uh, input and food for thought. Congressman Ron Paul, everybody. Thank you, Congressman. Thank you.